In just a moment, I'm going to ask you to turn to a person who's sitting around you. It doesn't matter to me whether there's a left, right, behind you, whatever. If you don't like the person you're sitting next to, don't make eye contact, okay? <laughs> well, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to turn to that, that person around you, and I want you to tell them about your favorite vacation spot, okay? Now, when you talk to them, please don't do what some people do. They turn to the other person and go, <clears throat> I like to go to Hawaii. It's a nice place. That doesn't tell them or us anything. When you turn to that person, I want you to describe that vacation spot in such a way that when you're done, they go, oh, yeah. Whew. Tell me more. I mean, tell them what you'd be doing when you were there as long as it's not immoral, unethical, or illegal. Okay? Tell them who'd be with you. Tell them what they'd be experiencing if they were in this vacation spot so that they get excited about wanting to go there one day. You'll have one minute between, the, well, 90 seconds between the two of you. When you hear the train whistle, that means that our train of thought is getting ready to move to another station. The jokes only get worse as the presentation goes on. You'll all be prisoners by the time it's over. 90 seconds. Turn to that person around you. Favorite vacation spot. Go. Thank you, Mark. Now, I would love if we had time to talk more about your favorite vacation spot. It'd just be exciting because it's a place you want to go. And if you think about it, what is so exciting about going to a vacation spot is that you start building a picture of what you're going to see. What you're going to hear, in Mark's case, absolutely nothing. So quiet that your ears hurt, okay, for sound. What are you going to be tasting? What are you going to be touching? And don't discount this one. You know it's true. What are you going to be smelling when you're in that favorite vacation spot? Fresh air, something on the grill. A favorite meal, the salt air. We could go on. i got to get off of this because we got to get done in a few minutes. The prisoners are saying, yeah, keep going. Okay. <laughs> but here's my point. You can have all of the environment working in your direction. You can make it a priority to focus on it every day. You can give it resources. But unless there's a positive sense of urgency to go in that direction, these changes will never grow. We can scare people, we can use shock value, how, whatever we think we want to do, but until we give them a picture of a place that they go, yeah, that sounds like it would work for me, then chances are we're going to resist the change and so will other people. And if you don't